Hi, my name is Kelly, and I'm a library assistant with the Newfoundland and Labrador Public Libraries. Welcome to my spring story time. Well, I tell you, I can't wait for the uh, days to get even more longer, and for the sun to come out more, and for the uh, flowers to bloom. Wonderful. So the first thing we do in story time is we do our hello song. Are you ready? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Wonderful. I bet you did a really great job on that. Wonderful. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is a little finger play uh, rhyme. And so what you need to do is go ask your mom or your caregiver or your nana or your dad if they've got some sort of springy type fabric like this. I guess you could use anything, like even, even a dishcloth. So you're gonna take, and I have a scarf here, and I'm gonna take my scarf, and I'm gonna bunch it up in my hands like so. Here we go, I'm so excited. Are you ready? Follow with me and then we'll do it again. <laughs> here is a green leaf, and here is a green leaf, and that, you see, makes two. And this is the bud that makes the flower. Watch it bloom for you. Wonderful. Well, that was awesome. I think I'll do it again. Here we go. Watch it up really tight. Here is a green leaf. And here is a green leaf. And that, you see, makes two. And this is the bud that makes the flower. Woo! -hoo. Now watch it bloom for you. <laughs> well, that was lots of fun. I really enjoyed that one. Our felt story today is called Little Ladybug. And here is our ladybug. And around our ladybug are her spots. There are 10 spots. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine, ten. Our ladybug has ten spots. Little ladybug doesn't make a sound. Looking for her black spots, she lost them on the ground. One black spot, two black spots, three black spots, and four. Five black spots, six black spots. She's looking for some more. Seven black spots, eight black spots, nine black spots, and can you guess? Ten. The ladybug who lost her spots has found them all again. Hey, let's do a song. Um, hmm, I know a great song. It's called Do As I'm Doing, and it goes like this. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. If I do it high, if I do it low, if I do it fast, and if I do it slow. Do what I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do what I'm doing, follow, follow me. Now we're going to do another verse, and we're going to be sort of like marching. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. If I do it high, if I do it low, if I do it fast, and if I do it slow, do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. <laughs> do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Wow, that was great. You are so much fun. Okay, friends at home, it's time to say goodbye. So we're going to do our goodbye song. And our song has uh, some signs in it. 
and I'm going to teach you the signs and then we're going to do the song. So one of the first signs that we need to know is the sign for goodbye. And it's kind of like this. Goodbye. The next sign is time. So we're going to hold up our wrist like this. And we're going to point right here like we're wearing a wrist watch. So time. And you'll have to talk to your uh, nana or pop if you want to know what a wrist watch is. <laughs> And so the next uh, sign is a sign for friends, and it goes like this, friends. Very good. I can see that you're really focusing and learning these signs at home. And then our next sign is the sign for to say. So we take our pointer finger or our index finger, and we touch it to our lips, and we move it out like this, say. I think you're ready. So let's do it. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Well, it's been lovely sharing story time with you. And I hope you have a wonderful day and that we have a beautiful sunny spring. I think we will. <laughs>